Welcome back. So I have some exciting news. I've agreed to do handmade products and I'll show you more as I go along. But because I am starting to make some handmade and upcycled products for a new section of my business, I have a lot to do in a relatively short time frame, at least in the next month and a half. So I thought it would be kind of cool to show you some of the items I'm making and also some upcycled pieces because it may spark an idea like if you have, why am I out of breath? All I did was go up one flight of steps there and I'm like, <laughs> so <laughs> what was I saying? So if you have certain items, like a lot of these types of items, I mix thrift store finds with um, like craft embellishments. So you might have similar items. This might kind of spark an idea for a DIY project that you want to make. Yeah, I have a ton of stuff that I'm working on, so I'm excited to show you. Let's get into it. So if you remember when I said I had a ton of craft supplies that I had to sort through and start selling off, this is what I call the corner of doom in my garage. And this is all those supplies I've been working through. I still have a lot more that like it's unsorted like this bin here, all that in the back, but all of it is clean. I just have to sort through it. So I'm going to do what I call shop my stash, see what I can pull out of here. Okay, like here's an example. This, let's redo this. It's a little cardboard box, like let's turn it into something else. I'll pull a few more things out and we'll get going. So I'm going to paint this today. Then I'm going to add an arrangement inside it. I'm going to paint this few more and these are Christmas items we're definitely not there yet just grabbing a few supplies all right let me get started so I set up this little station in my garage it's not pretty but it gets the job done I just throw a tarp over a table and then I can paint in here and Bella and Eco they don't have to smell the fumes all right, bear with me. I have a sickness for half of this voiceover. This horse, he's just very 90s. I don't particularly care for this color scheme. It's kind of like a Christmas horse. So I'm going to upcycle him first. He does have potential. And next I'm going to work on this little polar bear. He is ceramic and wood and metal and I've been really into the carousel thing lately. I've never seen a polar bear. But again, I don't like those colors. I want to do it more muted. All right, his first paint coat is done. And that one too. I really like the polar bear. The horse, I don't like it all yet. Okay, he's painted. I like this look better. I'm going to add the yarn to make him a Clydesdale, what I'll call a crazy horse. It's worth mentioning I have never done this before, but here's how they turned out. I like the detail um, of the polar bear adding in those little, I don't know, like metallic and browns. And then the horse, <laughs> I really like how he has the yarn, like a little Clyde's, Clydesdale. And I love that he has that little container in the back. I picture him going in a kid's nursery. I'm also loving kind of this distressed, sort of worn in, painted, like haphazard style. It's very fun to kind of mix the colors like that. All right, back to the garage to paint some more stuff. I love this song. I like Miley's new stuff. Maisie, driving around town in a beautiful Mercedes. I think I'm crazy. Do I be right? All right, mixing up some homemade chalk paint. Super helpful, especially if you paint a lot. Being able to just mix it up on the go. Okay, I got completely distracted when I saw this picture of this pup on Etsy. I wanted to make a birthday set, so this is what mine looks like, and I could not get Bella to model like that dog, but yeah, it was kind of fun to make. Okay, if you remember this box, now is all white. I'm going to add some of these laces to it, and then I found this sort of head embellishment thing that I'm going to paint to and we're going to throw that on the top. Alright, here's where we're at. I don't love it. I'm moving on to something else. 
All right, went on a little bit of a Halloween spree. I painted these blocks, decorated them like pumpkins, embellished them. Then I moved on to hair clips, think pumpkin patch, cutesy, fun. Yeah, just a bunch of hair clips. Okay, then I decided to do velvet, no, satin pumpkins, and here's how that turned out. And then I have another one that's right after this. I really like that beaded butterfly accent. This next one was sort of like a witch hat merged with a pumpkin wearing a lace cape. It's very different, but I don't know, I just really like it. So I wanted to use more of that black lace, and I had these vintage frames laying around. I thought the two on the outer went good together, so I added the lace and then a 3D spider for some wall decor. So here's the before and after of how the teapot came out. Again, I went with that like distressed, worn-in, painted look, and then I added some faux greenery to it. Took a thrifting break, found this amazing wrapping paper, and then promptly came home and added it to that box that I quit earlier. And then I lost interest and quit making this again. So when I was at Walmart, I saw these black furry spiders and I really wanted to make my own version. So I challenged myself to do it from scratch. I did a wire frame with fabric and then polyfill stuffing. Again, I've never made one, so I really think he came out or she came out really cute. And I love the leopard legs. Absolutely love that. These are all, I think, mostly Hobby Lobby little embellishments that I picked up to add to some of my fall stuff. And then these are beads also. These, um... Chanel, what do you call these? Chanel sticks or something like that. Um, and then I just wired them onto the thing to look like little corns. Not so fun fact. In the making of this video, I came down with a case of shingles, which is horrible on its own. And then I also ended up with a really bad flu-like head cold, which is why my voice sounds like this right now. Because my voice is not gonna hold up, I'm just gonna show you some before and afters, and then let's wrap this up, all right? Whatever. <laughs> Holding on like a rolling stone. Thousands. 